Okay, it's time for a vlog as it's the 1st of December in the UK. As of now, I'm filming this um, just after 2 a.m. 2 2 in the morning because I'm having trouble sleeping because currently at the moment um, I'm recovering from the flu. So um, usually sometimes I do these outside on my walkabouts, but <clears throat> as it's kind of um, nearly minus two outside and then if I do this in the evening, the afternoon it's still gonna be pretty cold so why not do it somewhere um nice and warm obviously um, you've seen it um, in the, the viewfinder my blu-ray collection well some of it anyway <clears throat> so anyway we'll get to speed what, what what we've been up to um from um the last couple of weeks has been kind of really difficult for me in terms of um doing content because i've had um health issues and some of it i've had um i've had i've got like appointments just coming up to christmas i have to go to so that's kind of slowed down the amount of new um con new content I wanted to do. Um, I have been uploading some content where um <coughs> say like my comics where I haven't been speaking on that. So obviously with the current flu now, it's been a lot easier being able to do videos like that and then just overlay music um over the actual videos. Um, when it comes to current gaming, um, I've still been playing FC twenty four <coughs> with the EA um. Play a uh, play where you are, um like on the PS Five, where um you pay seventy nine p rather than three ninety nine a month to get um see the EA content and obviously um that reoccurs turn into recurring billing on the PS Five. I think that mine runs out in the next couple of days. And I did get it on the Xbox Series X, <clears throat> so that enables me to play FC Twenty Four again with the ten hour trial fully intact. So that's kind of great. <clears throat> so I can do more content like that. People seem to be liking um. The FC twenty four videos, um, considering um that I've been playing them, I've been up in the difficulty setting now where I've been playing it on the professional setting, which if you'd asked me a couple of years ago whether or not I would have attempted that, I would have said no, but um I'm actually kind of getting used to the AI on that, and I think some of it is to do the fact that with the, with the smoothness of the next gen engine and it, it's made it kind of a lot easier to set them to, with the gameplay to you know to be able to pass and to shoot and whatnot so i've been really enjoying that and <clears throat> people should be enjoying the content in terms of the actual view so we'll try i'll try to do as many videos of that as possible before <clears throat> it runs out on uh, my ea play um runs out on either ps5 or the series x so i've been doing that <clears throat> speaking of ea play um, they currently, if they've put on, obviously, on EA Play, whether it's, regardless of whether you've got the PS5 or PS4, <coughs> Xbox One or Series X or S, um, they've put on their Dead Space remake, which I finished last week. Um, I did do a video of the final boss <coughs> that you have to fight in the remake, and that was pretty difficult. Um, in trying to get um, in trying to get that guy um, right, but I eventually um, did it, and obviously, once you complete it. <clears throat> obviously, um, it allows you to opposite game plus where I think that should allow you to carry over the weapons because obviously you can't up upgrade everything in the, in the actual game. Um, I think I, I did read somewhere that on when you play it on game plus, there's just statues that you can find in each of the different chapters, and if you um, find all of them, then what's supposed to happen is that you're supposed to get this secret ending. Um, so I don't, so what I might do is i'll either um do the game again with the game plus and then or um with the little time i have on ea um on the ea play um subscription or eventually what i will do is um i will probably will will buy the game which i intend to do anyway <coughs> um and i do intend to do um some a, a review of the actual um death Space remake considering um that um I've played um, was it the original in Dead Space Two and I've even Dead Space Three, which a lot of people don't like. So, <clears throat> um, I'm pretty good at I've, with the original games in the series franchise. I've been pretty good at playing them. So, um, you know, I think I'm decent enough to say my thoughts on what I think of the remake in terms of what worked and what didn't. So we'll do that in a separate video. Um, I just want to apologise if you there's any coughing. <clears throat> yes, as I said, um, recovered from the flu. And hopefully, um. Um, hoping that I can get through this before Christmas because I really don't want to be sick over Christmas. So you might hear me um, drinking it, um, a beverage so I can keep my um, throat 
um, nice and dry. As of all, in the UK, it's been absolutely freezing. There's supposed to be um, weather coming from Scandinavia, so it's going to be anything from between my um, next few weeks, anything between minus two to minus six, which is going to be extremely cold. And it's going to be really difficult, considering obviously that with the energy prices and you know how much electricity costs, whether you, whether or not you're doing it by direct debit or gas or electric or electricity card. Um, it's going to be kind of really difficult, and especially if there's, you know, with the disabled and the elderly, I really kind of feel for them. <clears throat> so, you know, hopefully this government does something with the winter bills and helping some of the, the, the people who are really, you know, struggling. Um, I, I, I have watched John Wick 4, which I've done a review on, which <clears throat> I do need to um, upload at some point. So i'll do it between and um now and maybe now and the next week or two so that's there um i've been watching um invincible um season two obviously as people not sure people know this is meant to be um eight episodes in season two but it's split the season in two so you get the first four episodes now and then the next four um episodes um next year and obviously in 2024 and I'm absolutely um, enjoying enjoying the series. Of all, it's not for the faint-hearted, especially with the violence and blood in it. Obviously, for those who've read the um, comics, right? So you'll kind of know all about what's kind of um, going on going on there. Um, I have um, got a few things that um, that I've unboxed or need to do videos on. So <clears throat> um, I've got I've managed to get a couple of. Um, games in a couple of the Black Friday deals, any prior before and, and prior to that. So um, <clears throat> I need to upload well videos, and I've even, actually even got some even older um, video games that I actually did, and I still need to um, upload those. It's just obviously as with the not being feeling very well, it's been very difficult to find the energy to actually <clears throat> do that. Um, I bought um, another um, film. I will all I can tell you what I will say it's a Marvel movie. <clears throat> and um you'll see the unboxing of that at some point so we'll we we've got that to do um <clears throat> i've been obviously still playing resident evil 4 hd <clears throat> um i'm pretty ne i'm quite near the end quite near the end of it but still quite a way to go so we've almost got that completed <clears throat> and again i wanted to do more of that gameplay <clears throat> and to, to finish off the game with simple with the health um, Carla, um, I did see on Xbox, um, on the Microsoft Store, that they had um, Resident Evil Five and Resident Evil, Resident Evil Six, which digitally normally go for about fifteen ninety nine, and they were selling them for three ninety nine, which I think is an <coughs> absolutely good price. Even buying them second hand physically, they're still very expensive for some strange reason. And I was about to. I was going to because I think on the Xbox, the Xbox um, Microsoft Store, <clears throat> that those the red those Resident Evil games. I think it was the last day as of Thursday, um, but luckily um, when I checked on the PlayStation Store, they've got the same deals for Resident Evil um, Five and Six for three night uh, three ninety nine. But those deals expire on the twentieth of December, <clears throat> so it gave me plenty of time to get those. Of all, it would have been nice to. Um, to be able to own the those particular two games physically um, for three ninety nine, you, um, that, I think that's an absolute price. Um, price still in terms of most of the time I've seen it drop to at least seven ninety nine or six ninety nine, and that's about as far as it ever goes when they do sales on it digitally. And as I said before, buying it physically it's still expensive. And I want to do Resident Evil Four. I do want to practice Resident Evil Five again. Of all, I did have it on P PlayStation Three. Again, I can't stream it. And obviously with the HD, um, it's going to look quite bad. And then obviously Resident Evil 6, which I know the one that people don't like. So I do want to get those two games and eventually, um, um, you know, um, do a play for of those games. But obviously I'm going to have to practice those games. And obviously I've still got to play Resident Evil 2 Remake, um, um, Resident, um, Resident Evil 3 um, Remake. <coughs> obviously there's Resident Evil 4 Remake. And it's Resident Evil um, 8 Village, which I still need to play. So, you know, you've got all that. So there's plenty that you've got that to look forward to on my channel with, with lots of um, <coughs> Resident Evil content. And obviously, I've still got to do some of the DLC DLC content on Resident Evil 7 Gold Edition, which obviously would come to the um, all the DLC. And then obviously, you can play as Chris Redfield in that. And the, a DLC called um, Saving Zoe. 
<coughs> so you've got that. So again, you've got that to look forward to. Um, again, I, I still need to get around to playing Spider-Man 4 of all, um, on the PS4 Strop, PS5, because I paid for the upgrade. So I've got that. <coughs> and that's going to be a bit of a pain because obviously there's DLC. Um, there's copyright music in it, but we'll find a way around that. And then there's the Miles Morales... Um, game as well um which i still need which i'm gonna which i'm gonna have to do and by the way i need to upload that video as well <clears throat> there's still um spider-man 2 which i need to get which is still obviously still quite expensive now about 60 pounds plus in the uk so we so we so, we, so we've got that um I, I did get um police the protocol which i need to upload and <clears throat> um the video that because i didn't mention find that cheap for pillar plate for ps5 so i've got to play that i've already been told that it's very hard um i wasn't um expecting to get really good views for metroid prime remastered on the nintendo switch which i had to do, you know film that the bootleg way <clears throat> but i was really kind of shocked and taken aback by the amount of views that um that that that, that, that actually got I and mean, i wasn't expecting them um, people to kind of enjoy that so much so <clears throat> that's kind of great maybe i might as i said before do the, maybe do the first hour of certain games that I have in my collection or whether or not it's certain demos. So <clears throat> we can go down that route. Um, eventually, I do want to go back to um, playing um, um, the, the classic Street Fighter 2 games, um, which, I, which I did do in the past before. Kind of neglected that with the current games I've been playing. So we need to, so I might go back and do some of that. Um, I did get the, um, the, um, the Midway Treasures 2, which also comes with Mortal Kombat. Um, two and three of all, it's a little bit fuzzy because obviously you're playing it through SCART but it's just, just glad that it's the, near, the next best thing of playing the arcade so I've got that so maybe what we might do again we'll have to do the bootleg way because I'm playing it via the PS2 that once I get <coughs> good enough to actually um, play it maybe that we'll even do a playthrough of that with certain some um, certain some of the characters I've been playing Grand Theft my Sport still been enjoying that again Trying to do your mosty the tracks on professional mode. Again, it's really difficult. There's only a couple um tracks that I need to do before I have that completely all done on professional. Again, it's the rubber banded AI that's making things kind of very kind of um, difficult to kind of do. So I'm trying to get do some of that. I did do a video um <coughs> of a session of that that I was playing and upload it to to YouTube as well. There's a look a little bit of a segment where I've got a copyright um issue in it so but, but thankfully with the youtube studio app um it allows you <clears throat> to mute that section so that was kind of great which i didn't know there was a correct music but that's what seems to be a pain with most of these video games these days anyway um <clears throat> as i've been saying in my other video um you you would have seen me video a video of my trip to that trip to an apple store um <clears throat> where i bought um a mystery product which you will see unboxing of that which i've already filmed it already it's some all I can say. It's something. <coughs> it's an Apple product that I've never had before, and an Apple product that I've always wanted, and I've wanted it for years. So, <coughs> and the particular product itself, I'm actually really enjoying it. Um, particular product. So you'll see the unboxing of that particular thing, and then I've done <coughs> um, another video with the setup of that particular product. So you'll see those um, two particular products. <coughs> um, you would have already would have seen me do an unboxing of a case for the iphone um 15 pro max which my brother um was um was um planning to upgrade from the 12 pro max and i've done an unboxing he, he the actual phone that he that particular phone actually arrived a few days ago i did do an unboxing um video of that and he's which he kindly let me open his um new phone for me to unbox so i've got that to um, to upload <clears throat> and I've got another Apple product, product to also to film as well. But again, because of the not being feeling very well, I've been feeling tired as well. Haven't been able to do that. You'd have seen um, me up a couple, uh, like a day or two ago where I've done um, a little short video of the new HMV um, store that they've opened up in Oxford Street, which has been they haven't there hasn't been been up for, um, a HMV store there for years because they started downsizing them. And most of the ones that they had in certain like Westfield stores or um, shopping malls, they've closed them most of the HMVs down, so it's mostly online. <clears throat> so it's nice to see that they've put the flagship because of the first HMV store that ever opened, flagship store or ever opened back in the I think it's 1901. If you correct me if I'm wrong, but I think it's 1901 
was on um, Oxford Street, so they've opened it back up again. So it's nice to see that's back open, uh, open back up. So I've done the video there. And there. I didn't film inside because obviously I don't know how sensitive they are gonna they're gonna be into letting you do that. So I filmed from the outside. They did do some some decent Black, Black Friday deals in there, but um, you know some stuff is for me is a little bit too expensive. But again, it's nice to have it um, open back up again. So that's kind of nice. <clears throat> so. Yeah, I've got so I've, yeah, I've got um lots of content um to um to upload. <clears throat> um you've seen me I'm trying to um do more of my comic book stuff where um you would have seen the, the this Wolverine comic that's cut that's a very old comic. I think I got it from back from somewhere in the nineties. So it's nearly so it's nearly it's probably near pushing on nearly thirty years old now. So um <clears throat> that's that's pretty old comic and I forgot I actually had that. So what I what I'm planning to do is I've got a, quite a few graphic novels, whether it's Marvel or DC. So I might show um, my um, comic book graphic novels, and we'll do videos for um, separate videos for those particular graphic novels. So we'll do those again. It's all about time and finding the energy and the balance to sit there to do all this stuff. So you'll see of um, stuff like that, and then I will get back to. Showing you my comic book collection, what well, I mean, my brother's comic book collection that we've been collecting over these the past cut few decades. So <clears throat> you'll um so keep a lookout for that. I mean, probably will be seeing that more so in 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 the new year in twenty twenty four. You'll be seeing stuff like that. Also, I did um have, um have a trip down to Forbidden Planet again. I did get a couple of items in there. Again, we'll do. We'll uh, I'll be doing videos on what I got from there. We, we said they had their Black Friday deal, <clears throat> so I got um a couple a couple of stuff not um, which which and they're actually very good bargains and dirt cheap prices. So <clears throat> look out for those. Um, I did. Uh, there are some other um Forbidden Planet stuff I got from a few months ago, which I still need need to film as well. <clears throat> so um expect to see um more um stuff from. Been a planet. Um, I did do a video, um, um, on a new microwave that um that we decided to buy. Um, so I need to upload the video to that. Um, a slight little update with that microwave um, microwave unboxing video. Um, <clears throat> as um I finished um filming the unboxing of the um the uh, the microwave that we got, it was a Panasonic microwave that we got from John Lewis's. I noticed that on the back, um, the bottom um, back left of the microwave, that there was a massive dent um, in the actual microwave. Now, if it's a little, tiny little dent, I can live with that. But it, it looked like it was completely caved in. So, unfortunately, um, we've had to return that um, that particular product, and they're sending that a, re a replacement. So, rather than I'm not going to um, refilm doing the same. Um, unboxing video even even though it's like virtually identical so i will probably put something in, in, in the in the description to say obviously that um you know i'm doing a a replacement on that um this um i'm not um that, that is we obviously the replacement, which was what i've just explained and on this video so you'll you'll see obviously you you see me you've heard me just explain the problems i've had with that with the replica microwave but the video hasn't been uploaded yet so yeah i mean what can you do i mean you pay a lot of money for something can you kind of don't expect something to be you know like damaged like that so and it's, it's just a pain irritating thing that they came it pretty quickly to take it back but it's taken quite a while for them to you know to send them the replacement out which is a bit of a pain really but you know should get it before christmas hopefully so yeah, and um, you already would have seen a video of me doing um, the Aliens Free Steelbook. As I said, well, I've got um, <coughs> Alien, I've got the first move, Alien movie as a steelbook. Aliens, Aliens, which is a sequel I, didn't, I couldn't get, that sold out pretty quickly. And in Aliens Free, I've got the steelbook, and Aliens Resurrection, I've just got it as a normal Blu ray. <coughs> so, you know, so yeah, I'll be doing more videos of my um, Blu ray collection that I've got, I've got um, which I don't tend to buy um, as much as many. Blu-rays anymore now because the prices of them have gone up and they don't seem to be doing them any You know like any good deals obviously, you know, like there was a time when I could get them for three quid Second hand or even brand new and it was free delivery now. We're not doing that anymore now. So it's 
I tend not to kind of um, buy them so I very, I very rarely do now, or even buy Blu-rays these days. Um, I tend to just buy them in sales and all, but buy them second hand. So, <clears throat> yeah, so as I said before, um, that's currently what I've been up to. And obviously now, um, gearing up towards Christmas. So, like, it's a matter of, you know, so it's a, <clears throat> this year we've got, a, despite, um, you may have seen my videos and there's been a lot, kind of a lot of tragedy in my, like, family this year. And it's kind of not been a, a bit of a bad year with a lot of um, deaths in my family. It's been we're pretty close family members um we've got like a lot of family coming in for christmas which doesn't usually happen but obviously because of you know the stuff that's happened um and it's kind of brought the family closer so <clears throat> it's going to be like a bit everything's um, working at is rushing at a breakneck pace now we, you know we've, now we've got a lot of family coming over for christmas th this year and um trying to get things sorted out and obviously trying to concentrate my youtube channel so if you don't see like a lot of content or new content my channel and kind of bear it in mind that um you know it's going up towards christmas and stuff so yeah i might do a little video um just before christmas to you know to you know wish everybody a merry christmas and stuff and obviously you'll see the next um vlog um update i've seen on the first of january 2024 so yeah um, expect to see hopefully um some obviously the um regular content when it comes to unboxing videos and hopefully people like it and um i'm already um close to nearly 500 i'm only like a few away so maybe we might get there before the end of the year and for those of you who have you know, subscribed whether you're a new sus subscriber or an old subscriber i want to say a big um thank you to all those um old and new um kind of I, I remember starting off having only 12 to 13 subs and as and i know you it's a bit of a cliche thing to hear but like, um, when people you need to say a thank you and people just don't really mean it. But for me, I kind of um, really do mean it. And, you know, I wish I could thank everybody individually um, for the subscription and, and the views. I know not, not necessarily everybody subscribed to my channel. People just watch your channel. Some of the people can watch your channel and not subscribe. But the views are kind of cool. So that's, you know, that does help. And especially with um, <coughs> being a, you know, an amateur um, YouTuber that's just doing it as a hobby. And I'm not the world's most professional, which again I hope to change sometime in the, in the future. Obviously, if I can get better equipment, but yeah, I just want to say a big thank you because without <clears throat> the, the the viewership and the people um, commenting, subscribing to your channel, um, I wouldn't be where I am at the, um where I am today. So you know, a big um heartfelt thank you to all those that have, um, that watch. And subscribe to my channel or whether or not you don't subscribe to my channel so a big thank you so anyway i'll leave it here with the um with the vlog for the first of december and we'll see you again in the next vlog in 2024 so take care bye for now